Hey everyone, this is Jack. I'm back with the Papilio SOC System Builder, and uh, in this screencast, we're going to put together a uh, custom ZPUino system on chip for the uh, Logic Start MegaWing. And uh, I ran into a roadblock after the last video that I recorded, and I had to rework everything. Um, it just became too cumbersome to try to uh, connect the pins in the UCF file. So I came up with a new scheme, and now all the pins are broken out, broken out into their own symbol, and you replace whatever symbol you have. Like this is the default symbol for if you have a Papilio board without any kind of a Mega Wing attached to it. Um, but if you have a Mega Wing like the Logic Start, all you do is you delete the default one, you go to symbols, um, you go to the Papilio hardware, you choose the Logic Start, and you just drop it. And now we have convenient connection points uh, for all of our hardware peripherals, uh, for all the hardware subsections. And then all of the GPIO is still broken out and connected, uh, and that's all taken care of inside here. So if you want to see what the HDL is to see what that looks like, you just push into it and then here's the uh, HDL that I wrote to connect all this and you could see uh, I'm connecting the seven segment wing portions to the corresponding wing slots or slot uh, areas on the wings same with VGA uh, and then the rest of the GPIO is just connected through the the normal uh, VHDL pad uh, code Okay, so let's start building this system. Uh, let's see, the first thing we're going to do is we'll add some peripherals. Uh, peripherals, the first one being the seven segment one. So let's connect that to, um, actually I think we had slot nine last time, so. just remove the blank one connect it there okay now let's also go and let's add a Sigma Delta one for the audio that way we can play a mod file okay we'll delete the empty device connect this and we'll drag it down. I think we need to drag it down one just a little bit more. All right, let's drag this down. And now to connect the seven segment uh, core to our actual Mega Wing hardware, we just uh, draw some connections. Let's move this down one. There we go, so the connections are straight. Oh, we don't use the extra actually. Okay, now let's uh, do audio. And this is a bus that will be connecting to a single um, single pin on our hardware so we need to do a bus tap so to do that you click on bus tap you choose which direction it's going to connect uh, actually this will connect on the left you click on the bus you want you see that it uh, fills the net name and uh, the first element of that bus is going to be just fine for this and then you click on this and it should uh, move it and we have a connection so that's pretty easy to do. All right, so we've got our seven segment and we've got our Sigma Delta both attached. Let's go ahead and add uh, a VGA. So this is a VGA adapter based on the um, ZX Spectrum device that uh, Alvi put together. So let's get rid of that, drag and drop this. 
Um, there we go. So now we're connected. Now uh, the other thing, I had to uh, expand the the ZPU Eno symbol to um, add this video. This is a Wishbone Master. So video is a little bit misleading. I might need to rename that, uh, but it was needed for the ZX Spectrum core. So now to connect the core, we're going to do the same thing. Do this. There's probably a quicker way to do this. Okay, so everything is connected now. We've got a full system that should synthesize and work. Uh, it has three cores. It's got the Sigma Delta core, the seven segment core, the ZX Spectrum core. Um, and if we want to see what the VHDL looks like, that we can actually generate the VHDL and take a look at it. And the way you do that is you select this, and I believe under Design Utilities, um, View HDL Instantiation Template. So this will generate the HDL. Oh, okay. What you're seeing, what I'm seeing, is I made a mistake. So let's. We'll have to fix that real quick. Um, I forgot. VGA B, red, blue, and green are um, our core outputs. A bus. Or I'm sorry, R. You can see here um, that this. Oops, it's not what I wanted. So this, these are buses, and our core only outputs one, one line instead of uh, a, a bus. So we're going to need, we need to rework these. So this is where we need to do bus taps for these. Oh, sorry, I'm going the wrong way there. All right, so we'll do bus taps and we'll click on the bus. Um, it needs to go to the right and <clears throat> and uh, actually we need to make this zero connect it okay let's do this bus uh, let's make this zero and then uh, let's connect this bus uh, let's make this zero as well. All right, so those are all connected. So now we should be able to have a, a valid design and look at the HDL. Oh, sorry, we don't want the instantiation template. We want the functional model. Okay, so this is the HDL code. So that entire schematic is translated to VHDL code. So you could take a look at this, study it, um, and uh, if you had any questions, it, it's a good way to, to help learn with VHDL as well. All right, so now that we have a functioning system, let's go ahead and synthesize it. This will take a while. I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and then we'll switch to a video showing it. Uh, well, we'll do the Arduino code, and then we'll switch to a video showing it in action. Okay, we're back, and the file finished, uh, or the bit file was generated. Uh, I had to make a couple quick changes, though. I made a mistake. Uh, for the audio, I had to take the lower bit, and for the video, I had to take the upper bit of each bus. So uh, I made those quick changes behind the scenes, and we have a bit file that generated. So let's uh, let's go ahead and write it. 
to the Papilio. All right, now let's bring up the sketch. So this is a sketch that um, it's going to drive these cores directly. So there's no Arduino library written for them yet. It's just uh, communicating directly with the hardware. And uh, these are these are this is code that uh, that Alvi put together, and uh, I just brought them all together into one quick and dirty sketch here. So the first thing to see is that we're setting the um, the seven segment core. We're setting it to slot nine. Uh, the sigma delta core, we're setting it to slot five. And then a little bit lower in the setup, um, the VGA ZX, there is actually a library for that. And we can tell it which slot, which wishbone slot we're connected to in the begin. So we're telling it 15. And uh, that corresponds back to what we have here. So uh, we see the sigma delta is five the seven segment is nine and then the video is 15. so uh I'm, i'll post this whole sketch into the forum for now let's just uh load it it's actually loading some uh data to the spi flash it's loading a, a background image and a mod file so this takes just a couple seconds to do and uh, then we'll cut the video to show it running. Okay, so we're cutting a video here and we're still waiting for the uploading to finish. It just completed, the board just came on We've got our seven segment running, and we, this is the video that's being output, uh, and you should be able to hear the audio. This is a mod file playing. So this is all a custom, custom generated uh, Arduino compatible system that was completely made with the schematic editor. Thanks for watching.